guys, happy Swatch Fest Day. I hope you're ready to have some fun. You guys know what we do on Saturdays. We're gonna talk about 10 random polishes from my big old stash over there. That's just a whole bunch of polishes waiting to be talked about. They're always like, man, you're only picking 10 of us each week? How is this possible? I actually was looking for a couple simple colors polishes that I had written down like in my phone where I keep my, my notes of my brands, the, the polishes that I own so I don't repurchase the same polishes which happens a lot of the time. Anyway, um, I had notes that I had those two polishes, they're repromotes that are going to be in the um, Chic Chicas collection review that's coming up for you guys soon from Simple Colors. Anyway, so I was like tearing apart my office in here looking for those polishes. I thought, well, maybe they're my swatch bin, are they in my Helmers? Are they in this little one random spot over here? I keep extra simple colors. Um, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So anyway, the reason I even told you that is because I completely took that my two swatch bin over there and so it's like all shuffled around so there's stuff coming at you today that was on the very bottom of the pile for a while the ones that were like please notice me they're like Toy Story I wonder if our polishes get sad while we're gone and they're thinking why don't I ever get played with if that's the case I have a lot of really sad polishes in my house all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get into it I have a really beautiful red I feel like I may have talked about this red before but since we were just talking about repurchasing polishes that we already have I did pick up first date at the Golden Gate it was a while ago because it's been in that swatch bin for a while and I think I have this one already you guys this feels like deja vu maybe I've done this is maybe this is the third time we're talking about it hopefully not it's definitely worth looking at anyway so um, this came from the San Francisco collection which was quite a while ago by now and I have slowly I got like a, a mini set once upon a time ago of these guys and I've slowly been collecting the big ones and this is just a beautiful subdued brick red it's so beautiful I actually need three coats on this because it's kind of a thinner formula to get this to build up to where I like it so if anything I guess my one criticism for this absolutely gorgeous polish is that maybe it could be a little bit thicker because you know generally you have a kind of a thinner polish if you're looking for like a more delicate shade or you want the shimmer to show through I don't think this is either a delicate shade or something that, well, it's obviously not something for Shimmer to show through, so I'm not sure why they did that. Anyway, um, I still really, really like it. So I did three coats. I think you're only going to see two in live application, but I did a third um, in the picture. So I really, really like this. If you guys don't have it yet, I picked it up at Marshall's the, you know, whenever it was I picked this up. It wasn't the other day anymore. So anyway, um, this does float through Marshall's and TG Maxx once in a while, but don't forget, you can always go to transdesign.com. I have no affiliation with this website, by the way, you guys. I just mention them all the time because I shop there all the time. And they have a lot of older OPIs. They have all the current stuff and a lot of the older stuff. So you can um, shop there for maybe something you're looking for. They don't have everything for sure. They don't. But they have a lot of stuff. So um, at my Marshalls, OPIs are $3.99. And at Trans Design, they're $5, so it's only a dollar more, you know, if you're really looking for something you really, really want. So, anyway, let's look at this. Alright, so it's been a little while since I had a polish that I really didn't like and unfortunately it's in the pink spot and it's this beautiful fluorescent pink. But I tried, I've tried a few fluorescent pinks lately that I really like. That one from Finger Paints that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago, I really liked that. So much better than this. So this is just a really beautiful hot like cotton candy but like really fluorescent cotton candy pink. It's called Perky Pink from Salon Perfect. So you can pick this brand up in Walmart if you aren't aware. This is just a perfect example of a formula that is just not worth it. You guys will see, I have to do three coats in order to not have it be too streaky, and even still then it's too streaky. The color is beautiful, 
but if you have that kind of a mess applying it, it was just like not fun to apply, right? It's not worth it if it's not fun. And in the end, I wasn't satisfied with the appearance of it because it was still so streaky. So I don't recommend this, um, but there are lots of hot pinks out there you can do instead of this or, you know, fluorescent pinks even. So yeah, I don't recommend this. another pink that I also picked up at Walmart so this is from the pure eye shine with gel tech this formula are they're getting rid of this right I feel I think they're clearing to them all out anyway um, they marked them down so that they're even less than the regular pure eyes polishes this polish was just okay this is called afterglow I wasn't blown away by this at two coats it was a little bit streaky it did seem like it was self leveling a bit which I liked the thing about this is, it's a very beautiful, very light, dainty pink, by the way, which is, is really, really pretty, but I try, you know, I've tried worse polishes in this range, I've tried better polishes from a very, very light pink, so, you know, it wasn't the worst thing ever, but, mm, do you need to go out and get it? I don't think so. I don't have a yellow for you as you notice I put another pink in there because I didn't have an orange I don't have a yellow either so I'm gonna put two greens back to back so two pinks and two greens so I have a Zoya for you this is Zoya Evie E-V-V-I-E -E. and it's the color that I have on my nails today it's just a really beautiful mmm it's like a it's like a sage it's a grayed out sage green with a little pinch of blue in there oh, so pretty so so pretty this is a definite two coater I actually only have one coat on right now because I was trying to remember if I could get away with one coat and you can't it's just um, it definitely needs that second coat so this is a little bit of an older Zoya in that regard because lots of times lately with their creams they're really giving you a nice amount of opacity at just one coat where you just like barely need that second coat especially with these darker colors Anyway, I still really do like this though. So just because it's two coated doesn't mean I don't like it. I was just letting you guys know. Um, yeah, on the second coat, this was close to being my A plus of the week. It was so pretty, and it just it feels so just mm, soothing and comforting on the nail. I don't know what it is. It's the Zoya formula. It comforts me after trying things like that stinking pink. I was like, okay, yes, thank you, Zoya. So um, yeah, let's take a look at this.
speaking of Zoyas, you guys, I just got an email from them yesterday saying that their um, Green Day exchange is coming up. You guys remember what that's about? Is it called Green Day? Earth Day. Um, basically, they're saying, send us in your polishes that aren't three free, that aren't as good for you know, the consumer, things like that. Send them to us and we will dispose of them properly and then we'll give you this deal 50% off of all of our polishes. You don't really need to send them your polishes. Um, you still can get the deal without sending them to them. I remember, what was it like two or three years ago when they first did this promotion, I really thought I was like, oh no, no, I have to send it to them and I didn't want to. I just didn't want to deal with the hassle. Um, so yeah, you can send them if you want to. Um, the code, I'm going to put it right here. So it's going to run all the way from April 10th to May 10th, which is a really nice long time to take advantage of this code. So you have to buy six polishes minimum. And so basically you're getting 50% off. So six polishes times $5, you have to spend at least $30 to get this promotion and they're going to give you free shipping. So if you can think of six Zoyas, which who can't think of six Zoyas that they want, but if you can think of six that you want and you want to get them for half price, no shipping, then now is your time to do that. And you've been seeing Zoyas in my Swatch Fest every single week. So you've probably seen some good ones, I would say. I am not sponsored by Zoya to tell you this. I just always want to tell you guys about the good deals. So yeah, that is going to be for this entire next month um, through May 10th. And so I hope you take advantage of it if you want to. The code is EARTHLOVE. So I don't know if I will be taking advantage of it because on Black Friday, I literally bought every Zoya that there is. So I don't need, you know, I don't even know if there's any more Zoyas for me to buy. So the second green I want to show you today comes from Sesh. And you know that this, I've been talking about how this brand is being clearanced from Sally Beauty. I don't think they're going away, going away. In fact, I've been seeing them promoted on people's Instagrams. It's just that Sally Beauty is not going to carry them anymore. But I love this shade. It's so pretty. It's so good. It's not like a super unique or anything to where you don't have a polish like this in your collection. But it's really good. So this is called Vivacious. If you see this at your Sally Beauty, they're clearanced 75% off. So they're probably like $2 or something. Um, two or three. This is really good. So it's just a beautiful kind of mint to see green, kind of aqua, uh, subdued aqua. It's really good. Two coater, the formula is really nice. I do like these Sesh polishes. I really, really do. It's just I feel that they were overcharging. I think that they were like $10 in Sally Beauty, which with all the masses of nail polish out there now, um, it's just probably too much for just a straight up cream. That's my opinion. I know that lots of you out there disagree with me, but that was my reasoning for not continuing to buy them at that price. And then I saw them on clearance and I was like, yes because the formula is really good. So let's look at this baby. Um, it's called Vivacious. I did tell you that, right? I found in the bottom of my swatch bin and this I, just, I love this color yes it's a blurple but we're gonna put it in here for blue this is called blues cruise and it's spelled b-l-u-z it's so interesting it's so zany how they spelled it okay it's number 2191 so it's a new polish for 2017 I believe and this is definitely a two coater but that's okay I don't mind Beautiful formula, beautiful color. It's really, really pretty. It's actually pretty close to In the Pacific and Pacific Blue. Here's In the Pacific on the bottom. As you can see, this Blue's Cruise has a little bit more purple in it and it's not as bright, obviously. But that's what it made me think of when I put it on. I, rec I recognized that it was more purple, but it kind of gave me that vibe. Super beautiful shade. Um, you guys know I love simple colors with their blues and their greens. They are so good at blues and greens. So we're gonna look at two coats of Blues Cruise, which is just so hard not to say Blues Clues when I say that. So anyway, really cute name.
Speaking of, in the Pacific, I did restock them, you guys. I restocked in the Pacific and um, the Shapeshifter. In case you don't follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I was making sure to let you guys know when they were restocked because these two are the ones that sold out from the Wayfinder collection, and they are back in stock. So if you want to pick them up, they're there. I'm not sure for how much longer because they look like they're going to sell out again, but they're there for now. Okay, so let's talk makeup really quick. Um, I Okay, so let's just do this real fast. I use this Jaffer foundation that my mom gave me a while ago and I do always really enjoy it. It is in the shade Pure Porcelain. So I put that on with a beauty blender. I also used my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair, very sparingly right there, but I love how it's so bright for me. As somebody that's so fair like me, it's hard to find a concealer that is ghostly white enough to actually give me some lightness under my eyes and give me some dimension in my skin without having to bronze and contour which I don't love to bronze and contour a lot so it actually gives me enough lightness here that almost looks like I've contoured a little bit you're like yeah right it doesn't look like that um I use my Anastasia dip brow pomade on my very severe brows today I put I was doing my makeup and Honor came in after I just had foundation and brows and she looks at me and she goes oh mom you look like a boy <laughs> I said I know honey I only have my brows on she's like that looks like a boy. Kids are just so awesome, aren't they? Okay. For my eyeshadow, I used this Hieroglyphic Heart Palette from Wet n Wild. You know how they put out, I think, two or three in their spring line, which you can actually buy the whole thing like as a, as a big collection on their website, which I think is pretty cool. So I, um, I didn't use the bottom shade here. I just used this kind of mauve toned um, crease shade in my crease and then I used the brow bone shade which is a kind of like sandy golden shade and I put it in the middle of my eye and then for highlighter I used my favorite highlighter ever which is this I just I will repurchase this forever and ever hopefully if they keep making it and I really haven't even made much of a dent but I use it to highlight here and then I also use it in my inner corner for my fierce wing, I used my favorite thing for winged liner, which is the NYC um, Eyeliner Liquid. It is so worn off, I can't really see it, but it's in black. And this is my favorite way to do liquid liner. I don't really love the, um, the felt tip liners that much. I just feel like they dry out and I can't do what I want to do with them. So yeah, that's what I used for eyeliner. And then I have my number 48 Kara Lashes on, which I have been seriously thinking about getting lash extensions lately, guys, because... I just, I really enjoy how my eyes open up with lashes and I don't enjoy the process of putting them on. So, I've been seriously thinking about that. I mentioned that on Snapchat and I got some really great feedback from you guys. Some of you guys said it's really expensive. When you get into it, you're going to want to keep doing it, but it's way too expensive for upkeep. And that was a very helpful comment. And almost everybody else said, do it, you will never regret it. So, some good things to think about. Um, for blush today, I used Luminoso number 5, my favorite blush, and I used um, the Super Sizer from CoverGirl on my lashes, which this is drying out, so I'm going to check it. Um, and then I used the Maybelline Make It Last, not Maybelline, Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And on my lips is one of my favorite pink lipsticks that I have ever, I don't even know where I got this. I think it was from like an Ipsy bag or something. This is Sleek. And it's in the shade Hot Toddy, and I've worn it a few times. And I really, I really like to grab this when I have a very, like, not very colorful eye, so that it's my pop of color when I want a pink. So I really love this. Ooh, okay, guys, my purple is so good. It's from Studio M. If you haven't tried this brand yet, what are you waiting for? If you have a Myers near you, go try it. Okay, this is the shade Vintage Vamp, and um, Deborah, when she sent this to me, she kindly left the stickers on of the price point that she paid for it so that I could see that they're being clearance down to like 135 So, so good for that price. Holy cow. Okay, so this is just a beautiful like ultraviolet neon with stunning blue shimmer running all throughout. It does, it doesn't dry flat. It's kind of more like satin, I would say. So gloss this up and mmm, so good. Actually, the picture I'm going to show you today is without top coat so you can kind of see. This swatches beautifully. I love it so much.
for neutral, this is a polish that was at the very bottom of my bin again. And this is a limited edition Wet n Wild polish, so super helpful of me to let it sit on the bottom of that bin. Not. This is called Ninja Love Lace, and this is really pretty. It's a chocolatey brown. Mm, it's it's maybe, it's like a warm chocolate, but it's it looks really warm because it has so much gold shimmer in there. A lot, a lot of gold shimmer, and it's a little bit thinner so that you can see the gold shimmer, so definitely do a lighter hand so you don't flood your nail, and, um, oh, I almost dropped it, and what was I saying? And then do the second coat so you can really see all of that beautiful dimension and the shimmer and get the richness of the brown. This one is great. And this makes me think of, I've had a few of you ask me where you can find I Dream of Jean Genie was in this collection. It's another one of those limited edition Wet n Wild polishes. Speaking of Wet n Wild's website where you can get their spring collection, I Dream of Jean Genie, which is that one that was the purpley with the shimmer and it was just, it was like a, no it wasn't purpley, it was like a, it was like a Jean Periwinkle blue with the shimmer. Oh, it's just so, 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 so beautiful. Anyway, it's still on their website for like $2 or whatever. So yeah, I would recommend that if you've been looking for that, that's where you go track it down at. So a few media things this week for you. So, okay, I didn't really watch very much TV, but I did watch Survivor. This Wednesday's episode was so good. I love it so much. So this season, it's all all-stars. It's all people, if you've been watching the show, it's all people that you have seen play already. So that's an exciting thing for the audience already. Anyway, it was just a really fun episode. Lots of crazy stuff going on. You get to see lots of scheming and just really fun stuff. And I just sat there like this so many times. So anyway, I really loved the episode. You know I've been watching Dancing with the Stars, but honestly, you guys, I am like bored to tears by this season. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe they haven't had like a really fun theme night yet. They had Vegas night. And I was just like snooze. I don't know what's going on with it, but I am not like really at all excited about this season, which is sad because it's my favorite show. I'm trying to think. I don't think I really watched anything else. I'm almost finished with my book, The Dangerous Minds by Alexander Bracken, or the, the Dean, yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Something like that. And I'm getting so close to finishing it, and I'm trying to decide do I want to buy the next book on Amazon and like have it here ready for me when I finish, or should I move on to one of those other series that I bought, you guys? What do you guys like to do? Do you like to read the whole series like all together? Or do you kind of like to jump around so that you're trying lots of different things at one time? I don't know what to do because I have all these other ones I want to try so I don't want to get like stuck in one series because look how long it's already taken me to read this book, like a month. <laughs> I read so slow. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm getting really close to the end of the first book and it's definitely not coming to any kind of conclusion. So I know it's totally being set up for the next one. And so I'm excited to read it and I just don't know what to do. The other thing I want to tell you guys is I decided to start vlogging again. So I love Snapchat so much because it's so easy for me to just to pop on and just touch base with you guys like on a daily basis. It's like vlogging, but it's instantaneously so I don't have to edit. Um, instantaneous. But... Honor has been like really obsessed with vlogging channels, you know, like these channels that do vlogs every single day. And then she was remembering that we have a bunch from like two to three years ago. Like that's when I vlogged a lot, it was three years ago and two years ago. Not a lot, maybe like one vlog a month. And so now she's been watching them and she's like, mommy, can we vlog again? And also besides that, I really love having it there for her because she can go back and watch the stuff. The rest of the kids can too, and it's really nice for me because it's like having your home videos all set up and you don't have to like store them anywhere on your hard drive or anything and worry about losing them. I mean, they're just there. So yeah, it's not going to be on a weekly basis. It mm, will be lucky if it's twice a month. It might be just more like a monthly thing just because I already do four videos a week. It's a little hard for me to shove in one more, but yeah. We're going to try that again. So I hope that you enjoy it. I have a whole separate channel set up for vlogging and music. If you aren't aware yet, it's Phoebe Moon 2, where you can go and check 
past vlogs, all the music that's on my channel that I record, I put it there. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in vlogs, I'll make sure and let you guys know when the first one's up. Um, but yeah, if you want to go check out that channel, that's what it's there for. So the vlogs aren't going to be taking place on this channel, just to be clear. This is going to be just nail polish related stuff as always. So, um, yeah, let's get into these last two polishes. So I have two indie polishes here to share with you at the end. And this one polish has been in my bin again here, same story, for a while. And this is from the brand D Lush Polish, and we're actually going to be talking about them in the Hollow Hookup in a few days from the April Hollow Hookup box. Uh, no, yes, April. <laughs> Getting confused for a second. Anyway, D Lush, beautiful, beautiful indie brand. This one's called Saved by the or Slayed by the Bell, and I picked this up from a sale they were having on a bunch of their polishes, and it just sat in my bin, and I feel so bad. It's this beautiful. It's it's not really mulberry. It's just a very deep berry. Um, but it's a little bit warm and it has tons of gold and then purple and red micro glitters in there and it's really really pretty. I did three coats on this to make sure I got lots of depth, lots of depth of color. Two coats was just not quite there, but I loved it. It has a really easy formula, so this is really really beautiful. I don't know if you can get this on their site anymore since it was on sale and they might have been like trying to move out all of their older polishes. So, anyway, if you've never tried the brand before, you can definitely go take a look at them. So let's take a look at Slayed by the Bell. Alright, so last up, my A plus polish of this week is, uh, like I said, another indie polish. And this is from the brand Polish. You guys haven't heard me talk about them in a little while. They're one of my favorite indie brands because I think they just do really, really fun stuff. And this polish is so cool. So it's really hard to explain what this polish is. It has, it's, it's a linear holographic, first of all. But then it has this pink and gold shimmer that's just like so mesmerizing that's just shifting between. Here's what it looks like, by the way. And it has these um, copper flakies in there, which I can't tell if they're going pink to copper. They might be one of those kind of shifty chrome flakies. Anyway, this is just a really beautiful color. This is called Saint Glinda. And I also picked this up on their website. I, I'm not sure if this was on sale. It might have been. But um, yeah, I was just kind of grabbing a few things off of their website too. And I, I have to admit, I grabbed a few polishes that look very similar to this because this just, whoa, it just drew me in when I saw all that beautiful shiftiness on their website. So, um, yes, let's take a look at St. Glinda. I did three coats for this, but you guys, the formula was so easy. Basically, when you have a really nice, like, clean, easy three coat formula, you can just take your time, do those three coats, and you don't have to worry about it gooping up and just, like, getting overwhelming on your nail. I just love it. Let's see how it swatches at three coats. Alright you guys, did you remember that today is the day that you can purchase your Indie Shop tickets? 
By the time this video is going up, I bet all the VIP bags are sold out, but I will have, earlier in this day, I will have told you guys on social media and um, Snapchat and stuff, on Instagram and Snapchat to make sure and get your tickets if you want a VIP bag. Remember we talked about this last week? Um, so anyway, if you just want to simply come, it's free admission after like 12 or something, and I think it was like... I think it's like $20 if you want to come at 10 something like that. So anyway, today is the day to buy a ticket. So that's going to be happening May 13th in Torrance, California, and I will be there as a vendor. So I hope to see many of you there. That day is going to rock. KB Shimmer is going to be there. Um, Lavish Polish. Let's see. Sea Lore Polish. Ever After. Never Enough. Um, I am missing a whole bunch. Envy Lacquer. There's stashed polish. There's going to be a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of vendors. And I don't even know all of them yet because there's still a few more that are adding. If you've never been to a polish convention, literally you walk in and it's just like... And it's not mainstream, so every single polish is just a little bottle of magic. So, um, anyway, you guys, that's going to wrap up Swatch Fest. I hope you had some fun hanging out with me. It is always such a bright spot in my week. And let me know in the comments if you want to enter my giveaway. Let me know what your A-plus polish of the week is. Let me know what you were watching on TV with this week that you just, like, could not stop watching. Because I was totally uninspired. I was like, I can't even think of what to watch. So... Yeah, I will see you guys back for my next review. I have lots of videos coming up this week, so don't forget to stop back in and say hi. I hope you're having a good one. Take care, you guys. Love you. Bye.